Hello, I'm Dang Shoot, and welcome back to my Let's Play Banjo Tooie. Last episode, we just kind of got used to uh, the area, this new level called Glitter Gold's Mine, um, and got our first jiggy right at the end of it. Um, so this one, we should make a little bit, a little bit more progress. Um, now it's you know I've taken a, a little bit to explore. Hey, Jinjo, how are you doing? Little fella, um, but I do not—I do not like how they. Oh shoot! How they count everything collectively now, like the notes, the Jinjos. Like, I'd really rather them just show, like, hey, I've got three out of five hit that are here in this level. But just a minor, minor annoyance. Nothing too, too big. Okay. I want to go to Humba Wumba's place. Ooh, there we go. Let's go learn a new move. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Bill drill. Oh, here we go. This is a really, really useful move. Would have been awesome to use in Banjo Kazooie, but this move, instead of just having this, you've got this. An even harder attack that allows you to break up boulders and stuff. It's all right. I'm excited for that. Now let's go to Humba Wamba. Let's see what she can offer me. Oh wait, I don't think I even have any. Uh... Oops. Is there a global around here? Maybe? I already used that one globo to uh, change into Mumbo, so. Let us. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't know exact I don't like really remember where this was at, so over here somewhere. Oh what? How do I get up there? I don't remember that. I don't. I do not remember where that was at at all. <laughs> Oops. Let's see what we got in here. Now we have this new ability. Some eggs. There we go. Empty honeycomb. Feathers. And honey. So, nothing useful really, except for the, uh, except for the empty honeycomb. <coughs> All right, let's go figure out what this does. Hey, it's over here. Yeah. 
Get off my nuts! Alright. Oh. There it is. I got it! Success. Uh Okay. Oh. Alright, well we get our second jiggy. Without falling off. There we go. Alright. That would be jiggy number two. Oh oh come on. I was even on it. I wonder where that leads. Gosh darn. Oh, I can't get up here. Let's see what's up here. Uh, I guess. Can't climb. God, the camera angle is even worse than than it was in Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> and I already went up there, so back this way we go. Let's go find some shit to blow up. Mine entry number one. Hmm, alright. Let's see here. Why am I so lost? There we go. <laughs> okay, let's find another Jiggy. Should have broken that from the other side. Generator cavern. Let's see what this is. Whoops. Haven't done that in a minute. Let's go to the train station. Yeah. Oh, somewhere else I need to come as Mumbo. Gosh darn. <laughs> I 
Oh shoot. Back to get Mumbo. I wish I would have known that before I already transformed into Mumbo. But whatever. Oh well. Good thing is he's just right here. Now the thing about the levels in Banjo Tooie is they're deceivingly larger than Banjo-Kazooie, um, which in reality, the Banjo-Kazooie's levels were, you know, they, they weren't really, I would say they were one-dimensional, but, you know, they were pretty small. Um, anyways, they were pretty small, but, you know, these levels are still, you know, they're a lot bigger, and but it's just like you walk into them and it's it's there you can't get you get kind of overwhelmed um, and want to go explore everything, um, but then after you look a little bit, it's really not as bad. Some of them can just get confusing. Do your magic, Mumbo Man. I just noticed that the uh, magic pad actually says he can book him. <laughs> He can book him. Uh, I'm gonna get that tattooed on me. Yep, I'm gonna be that nerd. I'm definitely getting that. <laughs> Somewhere. I mean, I already have a smiley face that I got from a friend, like from a group of friends when we were drinking one time, but. So I'm, I'm not above. <laughs> Certainly not above getting silly tattoos like that. Uh. I come back to Banjo. Anything else I can do in here? Maybe I am blind. Don't make fun of me. That's right. Where's the other shovel? Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I'll let's get you with my nightstick. <laughs> Mumbo isn't welcome. Uh, poor fella. She took over his job. They took our germs. Let's see if we can get out of the train. I still don't know where this other Globo is. And we've only gotten two Jiggies so far. Jeez. Let's see what's in here. Oh. 
<laughs> Nothing, really? Nothing. What the frick? <clears throat> oh yeah. Forgot there's a bunch of uh interworld travel or travel traveling between worlds. It's pretty different. Seems kind of hot in here. I like how he's just kind of running on lava. Oh no, it's a bash fight! Sorry for coughing. Ugh. But <laughs> I didn't realize this fight would be so simple. <laughs> I can't believe I almost died for that. A merry old soul. That was interesting. We haven't opened it yet, but <clears throat> we will. Okay, so we got three jiggies now. All right. Whew, it's hot in my room. All righty then. Well, let's see what kind of adventures I can get into. Oh, hello. A white Jinjo. Alright, 14 jiggies. 
I'll take that. I've already been there. You know what? I actually... Jukba! I want it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's see what's in here. I almost fell off again, too. I was mad. Flooded caves. Okay. that shack yeah that's that, definitely that shack that has the uh, TNT in front of that I have to go to, to Wumba to turn into something so let's see what's on the other side of this tunnel over here oh shoot now I'm lost Can't see. Oh no. There we go. All right. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and just uh, end that episode here. Um, once again, thanks for watching and uh, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel for some more. Um, I'm gonna have some Call of Duty content coming up again. Um, I need to get a new headset so that I can actually play competitively uh, like I want to. Um, but right, since my Astros are messed up at the moment, I haven't been able to. So, uh, I'll see you later.